Hi guys, welcome back to another video of Edgewood channel. So today we will be discussing the ectoparasites in the livestock sector. So we have studied all the parasites, all the microorganisms and all. So they are creating a great economic loss in the livestock sector by producing many symptoms and disease conditions in the animals. So if we are properly managing the ectoparasites in the livestock, we can maintain the general contour, we can uh, control the anemia and we control the health status of the animal and the economic well-being of the farm. So we can go to a brief idea of the ectoparasites in the livestock. So if you haven't subscribed our channel yet, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell button for more updates. So what are the problems of ectoparasites? Annoyance and irritation to the livestock because they will be producing the sound or sometimes they will be biting the animal and they will be producing irritation to the livestock. So they are acting as the vectors for disease transmission. We are all familiar with the colicoides which transmit the blue tongue disease and we are all familiar with those heart ticks which will be transmitting the dilariosis, the babesiosis, etc. Next is general body condition worsening. So they will be laying their eggs in small small wounds of the animal. What happens? This leads to secondary bacterial infection and secondary flies such as Lucilia, Musca, Sarcophaga, they will be coming and laying their eggs. This leads to wound bots. Next is loss of body characters. So, uh, if at all proper health is not maintained, body characters will be very bad. Next is milk production problems because ectoparasites will be taking out the blood. So, the blood loss and anemia is a very common factor associated with ectoparasites. So, blood is very important in milk production. Next is hygiene. Next is anemia. So, the most tick infested sites in cattle, it's actually here it's 9.9 percentage and around the eyes it's 10 percentage. In the dewlap region it's 10.2 percentage, brisket 6.5, udder scrotum 12.5, tail it's 5.5, perineal region is 12.2, neck it's 6.8. It's actually based on some scientific study conducted by some scientific area people or some scientific groups. So, this will not be same in case of every cattle, every breeds and every places. So this is tentative. So main ectoparasites will be transmitting some diseases. So we can study those things. That is ticks will be mainly transmitting babesiosis. This is a protozoan bond disease. Anaplasmosis also protozoan. Dermatophilosis, tailariosis and hot water which is caused by caudria ruminant. So flies, mastitis. Keratoconjunctivitis, trypnosomiosis, and leishmaniosis. So, culicoides, the midges or the nosiums, blue tongue, and African horse sickness. So, the main ectoparasites of livestock. So, culicoides, culicoides, midges, they are very important in case of transmission of African horse sickness and blue tongue disease. So, the next are ticks. So, heart ticks or the exodetics, they are actually bufilus, hyaloma, repicephalus, amblyoma, exodus and haemophysalis. Next is argazids or the soft ticks. That is Argas persicus, Autobio, Autobias magnini. Next is the flies. That is biting flies, nuisance flies and the myasis flies. So myasis is a very important topic. Mites, Sarcoptus scabby, Sauroptus mite, Coreoptus mite. Tucking lice and biting lice in case of lice. So these are actually the ectoparasites present in the livestock. So prevention and control. So ectoparasiticides, these are the drugs which are used to control the ectoparasites, are the main controlling agents. Proper hygiene practice, proper waste removal, always clean the animal properly. So these four together can control the annoyance and the incidence of ectoparasites. So these are some ectoparasiticides, aphtic wet, Pronil, Delta Metron, which is very famous, that is Lysetic, it's a product from TTK Healthcare. Next is the Flumetic. Flumetrin, Delta Metrin, Cypermetrin, Permetrin. 
all these compounds are used to control the ectoparasiticides. So these are other sprays and all clear kill spray. Next is flumethrin fipporin, flumethrin poron solution, X gone, so beticols. So these are actually the sprays and poron solutions used to control the ectoparasite sites in the livestock. So thank you guys.